Hello everyone, welcome to your weekly reading for uh, the week uh, starting June 28th, I believe. Um, and we're in the chicken coop with the babies, and I'm about to let them out after this reading, but I wanted them to eat. Cinnabarite is taking care of all the babies. <laughs> she started with three, but um, we moved all the babies in here and she just kind of kind of adopted them all so she hangs out with all the babies every day it's really cute and at the end of the day when they're outside she goes into the um, this little cage and they all follow her it's really cute but okay so I'm gonna go ahead and draw one tree magic card and five chicken cards and we'll do three moving lines and um, for you know steps in time throughout the week and then one healing card what what's getting better and then one overall message card to just kind of keep in mind for the week okay, okay so we have oh, how does that fit we'll go like that okay or maybe like that. Um, sorry, Sunbright, you can go back. Um, so this is the orange tree, and it says, You will receive unconditional bounties of heaven by following your heart. And it's number 32, communication. And um, the unconditional bounties of heaven by following your heart. So it's almost like... You, um, by speaking from your heart, you unlock doors and, and you're, you know, released into freedom from whatever, whatever might be binding you or whatever is holding you up or stopping you or blocking you. You're able to speak to, um, really, you know, attain freedom and, um, to get your energy moving. And that's, that's what love is, is freedom. It's when when we are unconditionally loved and we um, are able to provide for ourselves the freedom of each individual in their creativity and in their heart and in their soul in their expression is able to um, be liberated the more the more love you have for yourself and for others the more free everybody is to be themselves and to to live their life But um, this is saying it's really tied into the communication and speaking from your heart. And, you know, if there's anything you need to say, just always remember to come from your heart and speak um, speak truth, but speak about you and speak about, um, you know, speak truth from your, your position. And we have two, which is relating to things around us and really, you know, seeing what things are for what they are, you know. Things are what they are, and relating to them for what they are, and then moving forward in our relationships. We have a little flower over here. I don't know if you can see her. You should just... They're all having eggs at this time. Egg time. Who's in there? Sounds like somebody else is in there. Okay, so we have a oh, tie tip. I think we just had tie tip. And that's wonderful for the world around us and creating with others. And then Aisha, so don't worry. Um, that's the don't worry card. Everything is going to happen the way it's going to happen. And oh, you have, we have um, true partnership and, and, um, that unconditional love and that person by your side, it's like you can always work something out when you have a, a real bond, when you have a loyalty and a, um, a sense of honoring another and, you know, a mutual reception of, of honoring the other and being honored back, that, that devotion and that loyalty and, um, commitment, lifelong commitment, that's what that's about, you know, people who are committed to you for life, and uh, no matter what happens, you just work it out, you know, it, it, 
when you have a strong bond, you know, anything that comes up can be worked out. So we do have um, this really amazing, you know, bringing things into the world and working with others and, and producing things with others. And that magic of, this is Thai tip, which is um, magical free people. And when people, when, again, that, it's funny because it's free people. Uh, Thai means the, you know, free people. And um, tip is magic. And, and the magic can come out when people are liberated in their freedom, when people are living in their truth and able to be themselves. Um, that's when magic can happen. That's, that's when um, beautiful things can come into being. And it just, you know, it's easy. It's able to happen. Things manifest. Um, you know, things are, are created in the physical world. Structures are made. Uh, the, the magic of humanity can bring birth and creation to the world. And, and it's with working and relating to other people in, you know, in that, that respect and that love and um, being able to work with others and, and having that synergy of, of um, putting different minds and hearts and energies and efforts together with others and, and you know, from, from working with others, things are born. And then we have, don't worry about anything um, because uh, everything that's meant to happen is going to happen. Um, we all have our limitations and we all have our tools and we all have, uh, you know, our, our resources, our relations and, and, you know, what we have, we have and what we don't, we don't. And um, even, even understanding and knowledge, you know, what we have, we have and where we're limited, we're limited. And not to say that we can't receive more, but it's about timing and just everything happens. Um, as it's supposed to and um, so this is about don't worry it, you know things things are going to work out the way they need to and then we have this um, unbelievable loyalty and commitment and um, this is the best uh, you know partnership card we could have that's the the strongest most unconditional love that brings the unconditional bounties of heaven and I mean that the way these cards kind of are repeating the the main card it's kind of um, awesome actually and then all right, our healing card we have is Yiki and Yiki is about values what do we value uh, what do we want to do what do we want to create what is important to us what what is our life what makes us alive what allows our life to to flourish what what makes us alive you know our life should provide energy and excitement and um, life to our being and we need to be doing what we're we you know what we value if we're doing things that we don't value um, we start to die parts of our ourselves it's like those parts of ourselves have to go to sleep that are, are being marginalized and being um, compromise so we don't want to compromise or marginalize the things that we truly value about our lives and what we're here to do and um, what we want to do where we're putting our energy where we're putting our mind and our attention and um, Yiki is metal that cuts and metal is something of value but it's strong and it pairs things away and it's like as if you weed the garden and then you you're able to get the you know most out of the the plants that you want or you create a sculpture you pare away you take you take off the pieces and, and create the form you know the inner form you you take the the parts off that that are taking away from the form anything that is is taking away from what you value you need to eliminate because uh, you can't have what you value if something's taking away from that you know it's about getting your priorities straight and so this is healing this is improving so it's like we're really coming back to ourselves we're um, you know putting our energy and our attention towards what we value and the overall message card is ha 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 and we I think we had this last time and this is about really breaking free from past trauma 
breaking free from patterns of the past that have really um, taken our energy and taken our time and taken our um, again taken our life away what 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 negative thing has taken our attention or our, our life away from us uh, we we should have our our freedom of our life and to be able to put our attention and our devotion to humanity in the way that um, serves us and everybody in the highest and um, so this is about you know things that that really take us away from it like maybe negative energies um, you know people chronic stress things that are stressing us out we need to we need to figure out how to remove the stresses from our life and it's about removing those stresses from our life and really getting over um, the things that are distracting us. If there's something distracting us, um, be aware of that distraction and and uh, figure out how to how to take the charge out of it. You know, I mean, maybe so, so maybe you have to work with somebody who's really draining your energy. But can can you not talk to them and not pay attention to them because that that would work. You know. <laughs> He's telling everybody about the water. Red water over here. Chickens everywhere. Yeah, I have these little chickens interested in the reading. Um, so anyway, um, you know, this is about breakthrough. It's about realize what you know what's breaking down and and breaking through the the things that that tie us back or hold us back. And then, you know, when we get our distance from it, when we, when we remove the charge, when we remove our, our emotional relationship, when we remove our relationship to the problem, um, we're, we're liberated. I mean, just don't relate to the problem. Don't relate to the problem people. If you cannot work with the problem people, don't relate to them. Just stop your relation with them. Or relate in, in a minimum way where, um, you know, it's it's just a superficial thing that is necessary, but it's not it's not that you're, you know, it's it's you're just not putting your your attention or your energy towards um, something negative. You're just you know dealing with it for what you have to, but it's you know you you remove your interest or your your um, you remove your mind and your time from that you know it's almost like all of a sudden you can realize that a person is <clears throat> maybe maybe uh not really there maybe a person is is not really alive and they're you know causing all these problems and they're kind of like a lost soul or something and um and you and you have to deal with their their problems and they're acting things out or, you know and they're they're trying to create drama and it's just about really not paying attention to that and just completely ignoring it and um, and and you know just kind of relating to people as you need to for the superficial reasons but really just not getting caught up at all with um, people's you know people's dramas or what people uh, want to put attention and energy towards if you don't agree with like the quality of, of the issues or you know if, if there's really no reason to put attention or energy towards certain things um, if your attention and energy is spent better in other areas you know what what do you value uh, put your attention and energy there and just completely you know ignore cut cut your emotional tie cut your your relationship to the problems and and that's about removing the stress and and really getting over things so then when they happen it's just like almost like a crazy person I you know I, I worked in um, mental institutions for a long time or um, actually sorry Al Alzheimer's place well I worked both but um, what I really think of is like the Alzheimer's that you know the people they're the last stages of this disease and they're just so not there and you cannot you cannot shake them from their drama you cannot um, you know you have to work with them but it's like you just kind of ignore it or you can respond to it but it's nothing you know and you just look at them in their state and their condition and that's that's kind of how you have to relate to people sometimes who are acting out um, from places of um, 
almost like places of void within them. There's people that have, I, I just keep seeing people with like <clears throat> major kind of dark holes in their energy or, or um, you know, like um, parts of them that are just not alive and they're just trying to create dramas or they're trying to create problems to, you know, keep, to keep this dark part of them active, you know, and it's like, you can, you can remove yourself from it and you just see that this, this is a separate world and they're, this is their, you know, this is their, um, condition that is separate from everybody and everything. So you can work with it as, um, you know, as, as something that is, very uh, weak and not influential or powerful, you know. And and if other people want to fall into that, if they want to believe in this this kind of dark space of others, then um, you know that's that's their that's their confusion. And you know, it's it's a rough time right now. People are very confused, and um, people really don't know, uh, you know, what's true, what's not. They don't really know how to relate to others or um, they don't know what to believe. They have beliefs that aren't real. People are, so many people suffer from illusion, illusionary realities. And if other people want to be sucked into illusionary realities, then, you know, that's, that's their path. And, but we can just watch that and be, a, you know, be separate from it. Be, be your own guru, be your own leader, be your own spiritual guide, you know, I mean, no matter what is going on, you can, you can have that, that, the sage within you, or the, you know, the master, the spiritual master within you that has the peace and the, the, uh, wisdom to silently watch things and, you know, not get caught up with it, but, you know, really just, uh, be aware of, of what's going on and, and, be separated from that, you know, it's like you ha you're protected, you're separate from it. it. It might be happening, but it really has no influence or effect on you. You are separated. You, you are separate from the problems. So, um, <clears throat> it looks like, you know, kind of a continuation from last week, and there is some communication. There's things that are going to happen through um, mental mental exchanges by talking in the physical world, talking, communication, and, um, you know, we're really getting the, our values set straight, um, kind of, how do I, I want to say, um, you know, getting back to the essentials of, of life and, um, of, of what matters to, humanity to ourselves to people what what matters to our quality of experience and um so we're, we're getting this back that's healing and then we're also we're also um removing the stresses and and really and being aware of what what is you know what we can separate from our life and be separated in energetically from but the, the week here is really, um, really, really positive with other people, with working with other people. Um, we have creating with other people and we have don't worry. So if there's any problems, you know, just communicate from your heart and, and you have loyal, committed people in your life that are walking the path with you and working with you. So, um, anyway, it looks, it looks like a, a wonderful week for breakthroughs. Um, both of these cards are breakthroughs here. And then this is saying, you know, communication that, that releases the bounties of, of unconditional bounties of heaven. Like the wonderful things that are coming into the world. And, um, you know, don't worry about anything. You, you know, everything's going to happen the way it needs to happen. The way it's meant to happen. And um, you have the loyalty and commitment from people around you. So anyway, I hope everybody got what they needed out of this today. And I will see you again uh, next week. And hopefully, maybe sooner than next week, I, I really want to, um, again, maybe do a, a midweek one or something. Maybe, maybe for the full moon. So 
Anyway, take care, everyone. I'll talk to you soon.